Good morning. Yeah. So this time, another method of adding vectors. So we have parallelogram method. Okay, last time using head-to-tail method or polygon method. So polygon or head-to-tail me method is applicable for two or more vectors. But for parallelogram, this is applicable only for two vectors. So let us add. Supposing A plus C. Vector A plus C. Okay, using parallelogram method. So let us add vector A plus vector C. Okay, so again, we're going to draw a Cartesian plane. So we have <clears throat> okay, so vector A is 30 degrees, 8 meters, 30 degrees north of yes, so 30 is somewhere here. This is 30 degrees. Okay, next, vector C is 6 meters, 60 degrees west of north, so 66 meters. Okay, west of north. So this time, you're going to make a parallelogram out of these two vectors. So we're going to extend... Okay, we're going to extend line in here parallel to this vector A. Okay, again, this is vector A. And this is vector C. Okay, so draw a line parallel to this. Okay, so this is... Okay. So this line here, the, the broken lines, okay, is parallel to this. Okay, next, draw another line which is parallel to vector C. So we have here. Okay. So this is now a parallelogram. So you're going to draw, to find for the resultant vector, you're going to draw a diagonal line. So the diagonal line indicates the resultant or the sum of A plus C or vector A plus vector C. Okay, so this is now the diagonal line from this point of origin to this vertex. Okay, and this is now our resultant vector R. Okay. This time, you are going to measure the length of this using your ruler, again, using your ruler, okay, to me measure this length in order for you to get the magnitude. So, the same assumption, let 1 cm be equal to 1 meter, okay, got it. So, therefore, if this is 8 meters, so you're going to use 8 cm for 8 meters, and this is 6 Okay, 6 cm for 6 meters. Okay, so again, the same assumption. So let 1 cm be equal to 1 meter. This is our assumption. Okay. Next, how about the angle, the direction? So again, your Magnitude R, the magnitude R would be the length of this, the length of this, and of course, your direction can be this angle, okay, and that is north of east. Okay, next, or this is the angle. Okay, so R is also equal to, and that is, east of 
north. So this would be your number three in your activity. Okay? So again, measure that using your protractor. Okay? Position your protractor okay, like this. Start at the origin. So see to it that you're using a pencil which is very thin. Okay? Or maybe 0.1 pencil. 0.1 or 0.2. Okay? Next. It can be in this direction. Okay? So again, this should be 60 degrees. And it should be 30 degrees. So for number three. So number one in your uh, output you're going to find out the resultant of vector A plus vector B. Next, number two, find the resultant of vector A plus vector B plus vector C. So this time, using parallelogram method, you're going to uh, find the resultant vector of A plus C. Okay, so using parallelogram method. So it is almost in, the, in this shape. Okay, so measure the length, then of course, the direction. So this time, another way of finding the resultant, of course, is a mathematical method. Okay, so this is true for now.